Hello everyone, I thought I would vlog today because I haven't vlogged for a while and I wanted to do a bit of a wedding update slash vlog. So we have three months into the wedding, I wanted to update you with a few things kind of where we are, like where we're at with everything. Um, and then we're off to London today for Aaron's suit fitting for his trousers. His jacket fits perfectly but his trousers need adjusting a little bit, they're a little bit too long. So we're going to go off to London to do that and I'll update you throughout the day where we are with our wedding planning because it's three months and I can't believe it's only three months away which is crazy because obviously we had to postpone it was meant to be last year and yeah everything's coming together so it's really exciting um I've got a new vlog camera which is really cool it's the Sony ZV-1 um so I'll be testing that for the first time I've done a few little odd clips just to try it out and the settings but I haven't actually vlogged with it yet so see what the quality is like already I can see that it's better than my previous camera which is great um yeah so come along with us and I'll update you with how we're getting on with wedding stuff today it's really nice because it's actually quite sunny um but it is a little bit chilly so I've got this kind of like Levi denim shirt on just with some jeans to be comfortable a little scarf because it's not freezing but it's a little bit cold um my coat I have this bag, which I keep using all the time. It's just literally my go-to is the Pachet Matisse, especially when I go into London, because it's just so easy to carry. And then I have my Lubies on. I have these ones with some little spikes. And they're also really comfortable for walking in. So let's catch our train. So we don't wanna miss it. Aaron's got his sparklies on too as well, haven't you, Aaron? Let's see. Oh, he's got super sparkle, look at them. Way more sparkly than mine. We're, gonna, we're at the train station, gonna get our ticket. So we've arrived in London and we're off to Burberry. So Aaron got his suit from Burberry um, and it needs altered. And the thing is, is because obviously, you know, you can get alteration, we can get alterations locally, but Burberry actually do alterations um, for all the pieces that you buy from there. So we thought, because some places how do you say it? They can be like not that good. And because it's a Burberry suit, it was very expensive. And because also Aaron's wedding suit, yeah. we want to make sure that we it's done with properly. The safe option and just go to the place we bought it. Yeah, make sure that it's done properly. So we're off there now. We're just going to do a little walk up Boxer Street to get there. Maybe pop into Salfridges, have a little look round, and then yeah, get the alterations sorted. And then we're going to go off to get some food. I'm not sure how well you can hear me. So we are in Dolly's in Southridges. So we both have salmon and cream cheese sandwiches, which is very nice. With some teas. Very good. Aaron's happy before we get some food before we go to Burberry. Obviously too long. Nice blue colour though, aren't they? Yeah. Really nice for our summer wedding and so for friends. Hmm. Come over here, second. There you go. You can see the colour a bit more here. It's really nice. Thank you. <laughs> so, since we last saw you, we went into Salvages first. We got a really nice smoked salmon and cream cheese sandwich, which is really good. Then we went into Burberry. You got your alterations done, Aaron? Yeah. Well, they're going to send them to us, but they're doing them. So, basically, what Aaron decided in the end, he decided to also get them tapered. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, basically, he was just originally just going to get the the length sorted but then he decided to get them tapered because we thought it would just be a little bit better won't it so they're yeah. a little bit more narrow yeah show off my lovely legs <laughs> well there we go you do have lovely legs so then we just went to flat iron steak and i put in a little clip after this it's really nice and then you get free ice cream and actually it looks like it's really good i say it looks really good but actually it tastes really good i didn't know you get a free ice cream at the end it's like it reminds me of the cruise ship because they do this free ice cream on the cruise ship and it tastes like this. Really, really nice. 
I mean, actually, it's quite nice weather. It's a bit chilly, but it's sunny, so. Mm. Tasty. Aaron loves Marzipan. We're in Fort Lauderdale Mason. He loves these tea farts. You said about one of these for a while, haven't you? Well, the thing is, we've been we go to afternoon teas and we like to have a few different ones. And the best tea was in the Ritz, and they had like a proper tea set. Yeah, and they it did. It was so nice. It was warm constantly. It was so good. Yeah, and these are like the proper ones. Look how beautiful they are, though. It's got like the little bird on top. Oh, and I love yeah, these. That's what we just had a thingy. Oh yeah, the ones that go on the side. I prefer these ones though. Over here. Yeah. I prefer this, yeah. I like that. So we're at the sides. Aaron's smelling this one. It's like got a cotton type smell. It's this one. This smells really clean. Yeah, clean. Luxury gold soap. Prepared with gold leaf. 23 carat. Do you reckon it's an actual little gold bar in there? Uh, it's got gold leaf, it might have gold leaf in it. I really like this one. Yeah, this one's nice, isn't it? That's really nice. Fresh. Although, you can't go wrong with lavender, can you? So this is the one we wanted there, but it looks like they only have one left. One left. Oh, they might have more. How much um, They are, I think it's £9.50 for that one. So we're on our way back to the train station. We got our bits from Fortnum's and then we also got our bits from Ladery, which is our favorite. I'll show you what we got when we get back. And I'll also do a little wedding update. Obviously I wanted to update you where we are with things on the wedding. So I'll tell you what we've prepared so far, what we've done, um, what else we've got to plan. Um, but I'll wait till we get back. But the train's not too long. It's only like 39 minutes. So it's not bad at all. And then it's in like a 10 minute drive home. So. I'll update you when we get back and it's getting a little bit chilly now I keep sniffing because <laughs> it's getting a little bit cold but I'm going to have a tea when we get back eat our ladder Aaron got two, I didn't even realise he got two patissiers. Um and I got the new one, there's this new one they've released it's like a pecan thing um, I can't remember what exactly what it's called but it's a new one and it looks amazing I think it might be for the Jubilee they've released it um, and then obviously Easter bits from Fortnum's which we love as well so, I'll uh, catch up with you when I get back home and I give you a bit more of a proper wedding update. So, let me quickly show you the laddery treats. This one is one of our favourite ever ones. It is our favourite one. It's the pistachio macaron cake. It's, I say cake, they're not actually cakes. Um, it's got like pistachio and hazelnuts and praline and this is the best one ever. There's this one, I can't remember how to pronounce it. And they got a little bit squished on the way back just because we had the other bag as well it's like it's a fun thing it's like a macaron with um raspberries and this one's the new one it's kind of fallen off a little bit of the bottom i'm not quite sure what this is but i know these are like almond biscotti i think type thing at the top and i know it is um like praline and pecan and everything in it also have a little look at how cute aaron's marzipan is I'm not a huge fan of marzipan, but he got this little toadstool, so sweet. He also got some corn on the cot, look, it's so lovely, and oh, an apple, look at the glaze on that, honestly, it looks, I want to say it looks real, but then it also looks like, it looks like a plastic, it looks like a fake apple, um, and then, and then he got a strawberry, Oh, I think they're so, so cute. Look at it, especially the corn. Hello everyone, so it's a few days later. I was just so tired when we got back from London and obviously it was getting dark, so it wasn't really the best lighting to film. So I thought I would carry on with my wedding update now. I'm about to leave to go for my first dress fitting, so I'll tell you all about it when I get back but I thought I'd show you a few wedding bits and give you a bit of an update. I don't know where to start, but I've just put a few things in front of me to show you, and I'll also talk you through some things. So our invitations have been ordered, Aaron painted them, and they've been ordered, so hopefully we can get them out by next weekend, or the weekend after, depending on when they arrive. But now that obviously it was a while since we sent the save the dates, I can now show you what they look like. So they look like this, and I absolutely love it. 
So as you might already know, we're getting married in the south of France in a place called Ayres. These are the save the dates that Aaron did. So this is our wedding venue here and it overlooks the French Riviera and somewhere down here you can see a little Luna. Whereabouts? Yeah, just there. Can you see? Aaron drew a little Luna on there. And um, this is just because there's like a cactus garden, really beautiful botanic, botanical garden there. So that's why it's got some succulent. And yeah, and this is the terrace where we'll actually be getting married. And then we'll be eating inside and everything. So really excited, really pleased with these. I think Aaron did an amazing job. I love it. And because he painted them, it makes it a little bit even more special, you know. So really love it. And I'll show you the invitations. Not yet but once they've all gone out in a different video. As you know, Aaron's suit got altered and we've also bought the best men's suit. We've bought the bridesmaid dresses. They arrive in June, I think about six weeks before the wedding. And we've chosen the tie for Aaron and the best men to wear. And it's this really beautiful pink paisley, which we thought is really nice because it's summer. So it's gonna be really lovely for the time of year. And then also it will go with the bridesmaid dresses because they are also pink. And it's not like a pink pink, it's not a pale pink. It's just a really, really nice shade of pink, which we like. Coming on with the pink, I bought some ribbons from this place called La Bouchers. They do hand dyed silk ribbons and they are so, so beautiful. And these are gonna go around our vow books. So I'm making our vow books. And then I'm gonna get them printed off properly and then these are gonna go around them, which is really nice. Um, let me, I've got to go in a minute, so let me quickly go through the things that are in front of me and I can always show you more afterwards. So Aaron has chosen his fragrance for the wedding. It's Penhaligon's Endymion Concentrate. I don't know quite how to pronounce that, but that is it. And it comes in this really, really, God, it's in there quite stiff really beautiful bottle and the reason why we wanted to have wedding fragrances is because we have fragrances that we've bought on holiday and we've worn the whole holiday and they remind us of holidays so we want to replicate that with the wedding i've gone for one from chanel and i've gone for the chanel number no. five which is my mum's favorite ever perfume but i've never had this myself um, I normally go for Mademoiselle, which is my favourite Chanel one, but I wanted to get something really special, really lovely for the wedding, so I went with that one. And then, what's the time? Okay, it's, yeah, I need to leave in like five minutes. Sorry, I've just moved the camera for a moment. Here's my ring, and I really wanted an eternity ring. I just think they're really, really pretty. And then with this, as you can see, I just thought they will go really beautifully together. Um, so that's what I've chosen for my ring. And then it goes all the way around, as you can see, because obviously you can get them where it's just half the way around. But the problem with that is I don't like my rings really tight. And then with the twisting, it's just, yeah, it's better for it to go all the way around. Sorry, that's my neighbor's dog, if you can hear. <laughs> He's actually asleep, but her ears are perked up. Next, Aaron got his ring from Cartier, which is really special. It's his first Cartier item, and he always said he wanted to get his wedding ring from there. So he did, and he just got the standard, I think it's the 1845 band, um, and it's just um, it's 18 karat gold? 18 karat gold, I think. And it's just the standard, it's just their standard band, wedding band, the 1845 and it's really beautiful. The box it comes in is just stunning. Um, and Aaron really liked it and he said it's really comfortable. So he's excited to wear that. And then you might see I have no jewelry on and it's because I'm going to put on my wedding jewelry um, for the dress fitting to see what it looks like. So my necklace was from the diamond store and I've got these really, oh, sorry. No, my necklace is from goldsmiths and my earrings are from the diamond store and I got these really beautiful diamond earrings now I don't own diamond earrings so these are super special I think they are stunning they've got diamonds on this bit here and diamonds going around and like a little pear drop and I am in love with them these were very expensive <laughs> especially for earrings but I love them and then because I really need to go <laughs> I also got a diamond necklace as well, and this was from Goldsmiths. 
as you can see it's got diamonds up here and going around and then there's a bigger diamond in the middle and I just think it is stunning. So I'm really pleased with that. I need to go but I really wanted my jewellery to be dainty. Oh and then my parents have got me a um, really beautiful pearl bracelet. I haven't seen it in real life so I'm going to get it off them today and I will show you and I am talking very fast because I need to go because I'm going to be late if not and obviously I cannot be late. So I will catch, oh I'll put the jewellery on when I get there and I'll catch up with you when I'm there, if I'm early, and if not, I'll catch up with you afterwards and let you know how it goes, because I'm not really sure what to expect. But I'm excited, so see you in a bit. <laughs> Hello, so I've just got back from my fitting and I thought I'd bring you into, you're just in our office at the moment. I just wanted to sit down and talk to you before I got some food, because I'm a little bit peckish. So I'm gonna have a waffle. These are so good, by the way. They're waffle and more. Oh, they're like, sugar waffles so good so I'm going to have that with some maple syrup and a banana but before I do I just wanted to talk to you about how my dress fitting went and also just how our wedding planning is going what we've got done um yeah what we've done so far and what else we've got to do because I know I should do some bits but I want to talk to you about some more of the bigger things before I do I'll tell you how the dress fitting went so I wasn't completely sure what to expect However, it went really well. She has um, pinned up the front of the dress um, where she's going to shorten it because obviously it's just too long at the moment. And yeah, so I go back again in a month to try it on again for another alteration or if everything's fine, then nothing needs to be done. But I've got another alteration appointment just in case and also just to make sure everything's perfect. So I have straps here and just the one side, it's really weird. It's just a little bit too big, so she's gonna make that a tiny bit shorter just to, you know, keep it up, keep it a bit more comfortable. But apart from that, I didn't have any other alterations. Um, the dress fit to me perfectly. I really liked how it looked on. It was so nice to see it again, and the train, and I love it. And I just can't wait for Aaron to see it on the wedding day because um, he knows nothing about the dress. So I'm really, really excited about that. And um, the alterations are probably there for about an hour. And she was just giving tips about kind of, oh, she is going to add two loops to my train um, so I can hold up the dress, like walking around and stuff. Um, you can't bustle this dress because of how the train is. And it's there's, it's got so much volume, you can't bustle it. But that works out great for me. I'm more than happy just to pick it up um, with the little loop. So that's great. Um, yeah, it all went fine, all went great. And then what they're going to do is... But I think like two days before we leave, they're going to put it in a box, like a travel box. So it's easy for us to travel in and she's explained what we need to do, like when we get there and take it out and everything like that. So I'm really excited. I love my dress. I really want to tell you more about it, but um, Aaron doesn't know anything about it. So I don't really want to share that right now, but I will share it obviously when we get to the wedding. Also other things, she took a picture of me, the front and the back and my hair at the back to see kind of how I want my hair because I am going to get hair extensions and after seeing where my hair fits, like where it sits um, in comparison to the dress, I think, I was kind of thinking this anyway but I am just going to get them just for volume because my hair's very fine and I want my hair kind of like this, so like curled but I want it kind of half up, half down so it's like out of my face but it's nice down and curled at the back. So. That's the plan. So I don't know about hair extensions, what to do, whole head, half head, quarter of a head, what type of extensions. So I'll have to make an appointment and go through all this with the people who are the experts because I don't understand anything about it. Then while I was still on about the dress, my mum and dad bought me a really beautiful bracelet for the wedding day and I love it. It's so nice. So it's from Lily and Rue. And it's so beautiful. This is exactly what what I wanted. I really, as you saw with like my earrings and my necks, I've just taken it off and put it in the box because I don't really want to wear it too much before the wedding day. Well, I don't want to wear it for the wedding day, but you know, I kept it on just till I got home. Um, as you'll see, as you would have seen, I really like dainty jewelry. Like I really want something really dainty. I think it really complements the dress. Um, and I just think dainty jewellery, I just love that. I think it's really pretty, really elegant. So I chose the bracelet and I hadn't seen it because um, it arrived the other day and I haven't seen them since. So this is the bracelet and I think it is so beautiful. So it's got these like little pearls. And what's great is my wrists are tiny and most bracelets that I've tried on, they kind of like hang to here, like almost to my like 
not almost, sometimes they're literally hanging onto my knuckles with my arms like down, but this sits perfectly just here when it's on and it's stunning. I love it so much and the little pearls, oh it's just so sweet and I'll get so much wear out of this afterwards. It's going to look so pretty with different things so I cannot wait to wear this. I just love it. So that's all my wedding jewellery sorted. We sorted out the music, um, well part of the music. So for the before the ceremony, the ceremony and then the cocktail hour we have a string quartet. So we have two violinists, a violist and a celloist which is very exciting. We've picked all our music so we've decided what songs we want before the wedding what we want kind of when the bridesmaids go down, when I go down, and then also what we want for just after the ceremony and for the cocktail hour. Um, yeah, we went through hundreds and hundreds of songs, me and Aaron, looking at the string quartet versions on YouTube, and we're really happy with everything we chose. And then there's a song my dad really liked, which we've added in, a song my mum really liked, We've added in and we went through with them and we went through all the songs and it was really really fun process and I love that we were able to pick all the songs that are playing so they'd be playing for um, about 20 minutes before the wedding and then I uh, say so maybe like 15 minutes after well you know it's like we walk out and have some photos and then like it'll be an hour for cocktail hour so we'll be playing for around two hours in total but I think they'll be there for like probably three four hours because they get there like an hour before and all of that and um they've contacted our venue just to kind of for anything that they need because they need like seats with our armchairs and they need some umbrellas over them which isn't a problem but they're sorting that out directly so we don't have to worry about it which is great um the woman at the venue has been really great which is really good then for cake, we struggled to find a cake maker. We originally wanted a croc and bouche and we've decided not to. We found this place called Patisserie Lac um, in Nice and they do these amazing, amazing cakes. Like, um, I love laddery. As I would mention it at the beginning of this vlog. I love laddery. I love it. And it's like, if you know laddery, it's that type of place with the different patissiers. Um yeah love it so we've decided our flavors i can't pronounce these but we've got like a strawberry type one <laughs> i'll go in more detail afterwards when i can describe it better we've got a something called crackling it's like um chocolate with like biscuit bits praline oh sounds delicious and then we've got one which is like it's not grandy but that is how it i need to look how to pronounce these properly i'm so sorry i'm butchering this up um it's like again like Caribbean Caribbean chocolate Caribbean dark chocolate with um like sea salt and oh it sounds delicious and the strawberry one sounds amazing as well so I'm very excited really pleased with how um who we're going with and we're gonna have like flowers all over the cake then we're gonna have five tiers um I think we're gonna put sparklers on it so I'm really excited about the cake they're really good and it was really important that we got someone who was really good as well because Cake I w with everything. I wanted to be a hundred percent, being like, this is the best person, um, and this is definitely the best person. It's taken us a while to find someone we really love, and I'm very, very excited. And they also have some stores in Nice, so while well, we're staying in Nice after the wedding, I'm sure we'll pop in and have a few little, little treats. So, like I said, bridesmaid dresses arrive um, six weeks before the wedding, so in like two months less than that, month and a half. I don't know, not long. So they arrive um, and then obviously we need to get alterations for them and then I need to also send some over to my bridesmaids in Ireland and then get the alterations. So as soon as they arrive I'm sending them like straight away because postal delays and stuff like that is, you know, don't want to risk anything so I'm going to send it over straight away because they obviously need so long to get the alterations. Best men's suits and their whole outfits are all sorted. We've got their belt shoes, ties as you saw everything like that. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? The menus, we've had a little look at for the venue. Really, really excited. Um, looks really delicious. I think we're going to do a three course. So they offer a four course and a five course. Technically six or seven if you include like, include, like the amuse-bouche and the um, little bits at the end. But I think we're going to do a three course because I think the four and five course, they take quite a long time. I think because there's so many courses, 
it's maybe three, three and a half hours. And as much as I love the menu and I would eat everything kind of like, they got like grilled octopus and I'm just, oh, I just love it. I love, I, I just love so many different things in seafood and stuff like that. And they've got lobster and lamb and you'd get all these different things if you'd done the more courses. But however, however, me and Aaron would love that. But I'm not sure all our guests would love it because we love a variety of food, um, loads of different foods. But I know not all of our guests do. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a three course meal instead with bigger portions. And then we can choose options that we think the majority of people like. Whereas if we do the four or five course, I think we're going to love it. Other people like my parents will love it, but I don't think everyone will. So I'm a little bit not sad about it, but I wish we were doing more courses. However, because we're not doing that, the next day we're going to do the six or seven course, I think it is, degustation menu at our venue. Just me and Aaron. Um, we've got a table for two for dinner. And then we're going to do, it's obviously different. It's not the same menu, but um, we're going we're gonna to do that. So that's great. So we just need to look through the options and see what we decide, what we want to do, and really thinking about what, would be the best thing for everyone overall um, and then the next day we get to do it for us and have all the things that we really want which I'm very excited about. Um, yeah our florists are booked, we decided what flowers we want, we've paid a deposit for her which is great as you know photographers have been booked for ages, our videographer has been booked for like forever as well. Uh, I'm really excited because he's going to do like some drone shots and stuff like that. Um, hair and makeup artists are both booked so for my hair I kind of want it like this like curled half up half down so it's like out of my face but it's down at the back um maybe a little bit down at the front as well and then my makeup artist I'm really excited about they're both really talented um really glad with who I went with them really glad that I was able to get them and then two days before the wedding so wedding's on Saturday and on the Thursday we're gonna do a hair and makeup trial which would be really good because can't really have it much sooner because obviously flying over there and everything like that it just doesn't just did the times and we're quite busy at the moment just doesn't work out right so two days before I'm more than happy with I love their work I think I'm gonna be happy with it anyway but I want a trial just because then I'm not nervous on the wedding day then I know exactly how I'm gonna look and I'm happy with how I'm gonna look so I think that is everything I want to update you with three months out still got a few bits and bobs to do um, like I mentioned the invitations need sending out when they arrive and little bits and bobs, I can't even think, because now the alterations are getting done, that's getting all sorted. Um, yeah, it's not too much left to do, but we still got things, and I'm sure things will just pop up that we forgot about and didn't even think. So I'm gonna go have my waffle. So delicious, oh, I'm so excited. Um, and have a cup of tea, banana, maple syrup, all that good stuff in bed. So I'm gonna get sorted. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little update, kind of wedding update vlog. I will do another one. I've got my dress fitting in a month, so what I think I'll do is I'll do a little update vlog, let you know where we're at with everything and anything else that's cropped up, kind of on the two-month mark, and then I'll do one a month before, and then I'll probably do a wedding week one where I like do my nails and get my hair extensions and all that fun stuff. But I done my nails today, I got gel nails. So thanks so much for watching, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see the rest of my wedding videos, if there are any wedding videos that you want me to, to like do, to make, let me know um, and I'll get around to making them. But yeah, I think that's all for my, my update, I quite like doing this vlog style update and I like just kind of coming in here at the end and just doing it, it's a little bit more casual, which I quite like for this type of video instead of having everything set up. And oh, also, very exciting to use my new camera, I know it is late what's the time half nine it's not too late but you know artificial lighting and all that and i think i look pretty clear it's definitely improvement on my last camera but let's go get dressing gowns on teas waffles bananas and catch up with you soon bye <laughs>